this is the transfer cap with the two wings it has a locking function so once the implant is placed you will take the cap and you will place it onto it okay that is how it is then you will take an impression with putty and you will take a pick up impressions when you take out the impression material when it sets you will find that that cap is now in the impression material then you take the analog you place the analog inside the closed tray transfer and then the lab can pour the model so when they pour the model they what they see is the abutment on the cast exactly as you see the abutment in the mouth then they can evaluate this abutment and they can directly start to fabricate the crown by using the burnout part the burnout part fits precisely on it and defines the margin okay or if they find the implant is angulated the lab can ask you for the angulated burnout part that is like this so they will place it if they need to increase the angle they can add the wax on a particular side and increase the angle then they will cast this part and they will send it to you so what you will receive is a part like this what you will receive is a part like this this will be a casted part when you place it onto your implant you will find that now you have a new abutment emerging in the correct angle you have to tap it in you can check everything is okay get the right angle use some cement cement it in make sure you tap it in nicely so there's a good mechanical fit also use it once the cementation is complete just take a carbide burr and just cut off this extra part coming out over here so now you have an entire implant with the abutment in the correct angle okay so you place it cement it and cut off this extra part so this is cementable angulation abutment this is in case you don't want to bend the implant all genx compression implants are bendable and basal implants 3.5 diameter is bendable that means once you insert the implant the minimum requirement of insertion torque is about 40 newtons so once you achieve 40 newtons of insertion torque it's also possible using the placement aid and the ratchet we can bend and reorient the angulation of this abutment by 15 to 20 degrees if you have not received 40 newtons of insertion torque or you are skeptical to bend because you are concerned about the bone then in this case you can use the angulation burnout caps we have the two hand instruments when placing the pterygoid implants we use these uh, instruments and also to insert the implants in the maxilla sometimes it's a lot easier and a lot faster to use this there is one which is for the implants so directly the implant fits into this hand grip and you are able to angle it into the pterygoid and screw in the implant and in this one you can directly insert the drill and you can do the drilling the drilling is by hand the bone in the tuberosity as we know is very soft and when we put pressure you will find the drill will just go in okay so this you can use for drilling and then the other one is used for placing the implant